Hey y'all, it's Ben Tangela. I'm Tangela. And I'm Ben. And today we're just doing a really quick in the kitchen with Ben Tangela. Today we are trying out the new keto recipe from Duncan Hines. No, we are not keto and no, we are not any of those diets out there. Mm -hmm. We just see new stuff. We want to try it and if it can help our diet, we'll buy it. So, <laughs> it's okay. a little grainy. Mm -hmm. It's a little grainy because it is made with coconut flour and almond flour and almond flour mm -hmm. and coconut oil. I can taste the coconut. It's really thick. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a cross between cornbread and you said seaweed. Seaweed. <laughs> yeah. I've never had seaweed, so I mean but cornbread, yeah. Um I can imagine that's might be what it's like. I love cake. Okay. Cake is one of my favorite things. Mm -hmm. Cupcakes, wedding cakes, all kind of cakes. And not down in it. It may be for somebody, but right. If you're diabetic and you really have to watch your intake on carbs and sugar and calories, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's okay. And I mean, it's really still not. It's not that much difference in carbs. It really isn't. I mean, this is what twenty. 21. 21 grams mm -hmm. and I don't know what a regular cake is but I can't imagine it being much more than that yeah and eight sugar alcohol which doesn't always agree with everyone no. the calories are 200 I don't have my glasses on so I'm squinching um, for us we're gonna try it with some of Ben's icing that he made mm -hmm. you wanna grab that yeah we're going to put some of that on there and see if that helps. They turned out really pretty. I mean, they cooked up and did really well. It's more of a glaze. but uh, We're going to slap some, great, some glaze on it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The glaze is delicious. Mm -hmm. I mean, it even looks cakeish. It looks <coughs> great on camera. It's tripping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. We cooked it a little bit longer than the first batch. Mm -hmm. And it's better. It's still, <laughs> still grainy, almost. I call it sawdust. Like it's like it was a good cake that was made with sawdust. It's got a good flavor, but the consistency is. Yeah. But when I, I want cake, I want cake. They were really pretty, but I mean, it, it's kind of like it's not bad. It's kind of like a cake and a corn muffin mixed. But not in a good way. Not in a good way, no. I'll eat it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. I know you will. Um, <laughs> I can't believe you're still trying to eat that. Well, I'm glad to know that they're not going to waste. So this is after the camera stopped rolling. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. I can eat it, but now will it satisfy my sweet cake craving? No. Mm -hmm. I'm still going to want... No. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. If I'm trying to replace a sweet for cake, um, this is not going to do it for me. Because even though I can taste this 
It does have the sweet little icing on top. It's still not giving me that old mm, yummy cake kind of mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes me taste. want to make a cake. A real cake, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. There you have it. Make at your own risk. And maybe you can come up with some other toppings or something else you can put in it to make it better. Yeah. Um, like a thick buttercream icing might disguise it just enough. See, there is the nutrition information if you need that. But basically, all the stores we've seen have them. We got mm -hmm. this one at Food Lion. So go out and make something good and healthy. Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's it. Try to chill. <laughs> We're going to get some ice cream. <laughs> some real ice cream. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. If life lasts, we'll see you next in time. our next video. Bye.